TIF update. My buddy called from the space station again and I didn't send it to voicemail this time. He called back on Saturday. Phew. What a fascinating and amazing experience. Call quality was as good as a regular call but there was a slight delay that made natural conversation a little difficult. I asked where he was currently flying over and he said the western coast of Africa. Then I asked how the ride was and he said smooth and awesome, his first trip was on a Soyuz. He said the second stage acceleration was incredible and that they hit over 4 giga seconds, noting that's it's surprising the thing stays together. Then at Seiko they were thrown into their straps from the deceleration, and bam, orbit, roughly 8.5 minutes after launch. They were coming up on a couple of days off, not because of Memorial Day, just coincidence. The conversation was 12 minutes long but we had to end it because of a satellite issue that was about to happen, exact reason is out of my wheelhouse. Interestingly, the call came from the exact same relay number. We joked about some funny stuff that happened when I went out for the launch. He got a kick out of the situation with the first call that I shared here and said that's a common occurrence. I didn't expect the call to be as short as it was so I forgot to tell him how much the original post blew up, but I'm definitely going to email him about it. I just saw today that there are a bunch of articles, online and a few podcasts that mentioned the post. The internet is a fascinating place sometimes. Call log. Original post. Too long did not read. This time I actually answered a call from the space station and it was pretty cool to talk to my friend while he wasn't on the planet. Edit. Typo and formatting. You're one of the privileged few that's gotten to talk to an extraterrestrial. Pretty cool man. My relatable experience is making a phone call from a submarine at 400 feet below the water. Hi mom. I'm at sea, on the surface? No underwater. Long pause. I don't believe you. Dot. L-M-A-O. I never even thought of astronauts being able to call friends to have conversations about their flight to space the same way I detail mine I landed safe in Vegas. Wild. Thank you for the update and treating this moment with the reverence it deserves. In my personal life, I interact with a bunch of people who work at NASA and oh my god they're so blasé about the coolest stuff. Talking about this or that conversation they had with an astronaut or celebrity so nonchalantly I almost want to scream. If they can make calls, then they must also be able to receive calls. Which makes me wonder, would it be possible to prank call the space station? I would have hoped he started the call with, we are trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty.